this is going to be the best video you are going to watch on youtube today so you are very lucky to come across this wonderful mass trick that i'm about to explain in details for you welcome back to my channel and if this is the first time you are stopping by please take the front seat you are highly welcome okay so today i'm going to show you the easiest way of finding the square root of any perfect square without the use of a calculator in about five seconds or less than that depending on how fast you're able to do this so the first thing you need to do for me is this get the squares of all numbers from 1 to 20 it's very easy from 1 to 10 is easy from 11 to 20 i will also give you a trick on how to fill that up all right okay so let's get straight to the point um first of all let us write our squares here so we have one squared is one two squared is two three squared sorry two squared is four three squared is nine four squared is 16. five squared is 25 this one is easy to fill six squared is 26 this squared is 36 7 squared, I'm somehow weak anyway, I'll be shooting video for some time now. So 7 squared is 49, 8 squared is 64, 9 squared is 81, and 10 squared is 100. Okay? Now, for 11 squared, this is, I don't even know why I had to stretch my heart to that point, but no problem. Now, 11 squared to 12 square uh, to 20 squared so 11 squared I don't like the way this is looking oh no problem let's do that one here so this is for 11 squared 12 squared 13 squared 14 squared 15 squared 16 squared 17 squared 18 squared 19 squared 20 squared okay now like i said you don't need to panic for this i'm going to show you how to get this everyone 90 percent of you watching me right now know that 11 squared is one to one so let's start from there one two one now i want you to look at something there is a pattern that we are going to use you see that the last number we have here is 100. Difference between 100 and 1 to 1 is 21. So it means that when you add 21 to 100, you get 1 to 1, which is the next square. All you need to do is to keep adding 2 to the previous one you added. This is what I mean. Don't worry, I will explain. We added 21 to get 11 squared. So I'm going to write 23. That is 21 plus 2 is 23. 23 plus 2 is 25, 25 plus 2 is 27, plus 2 is 29, plus 2 is 31, plus 2 is 33, plus 2 is 35, plus 2 is 37, plus 2 is 39, plus 2 is 41. Let's stop here because we may not even finish all of them. Now, this is what you will do. 100 plus 21 gave us 1 to 1. So we are going to add 23. To 21 to get the next number yes so 1 2 1 plus 23 will give us 1 plus 3 is 4 2 plus 2 is 4 so we have 1 4 4 and you can see that 12 squared is 1 4 4 so we are going to remove that so that we don't make mistake so to get the next one we add 25 4 plus 5 is 9 4 plus 2 is 6 so we have 1 6 9 to get, to get the next one, we add 27. 9 plus 7 is 16, carry 1. 6 plus 2 is 8 plus 1 is 9. So we have 196. To get the next, we add 29. 6 plus 9 is 15, write 5, carry 1. 9 plus 2 is 11, plus 1 is 12. Write 2, carry 1. So we have 225. 225 plus 31. We have, permit me to, I want to give, 
clear space between this. Okay. All right. Now, to get the next, we add 31. Okay. So, 5 plus 1 is 6. 2 plus 3 is 5. So, we have 2, 5, 6 as 16 squared. So, we cancel that. Now, 17 squared, we have... I hope I did not make mistake. Okay, wait. We added this 29 to get 2, 2, 5. So, we will add 31 to get 2, 5, 6. So, we are correct. So, to get this, we add 33. 6 plus 3 is 9. 5 plus 3 is 8. So, we have 2, 8, 9. Okay? All right. Now, the next one, we add 35. 9 plus 5. We give us 14, right? 4 carry 1. 8 plus 3. We give us 11 plus 1. 12. Carry 1. So this is 3, 2, 4. All right. Now to get this one, we add 37. So 4 plus 7. We give us 11, right? 1 carry 1. 2 plus 3 is 5 plus 1 is 6. So we have 3, 6, 1. Now, to get the final one, this is 400. Now, let's be sure of that. We are meant to add 39, right? 1 plus 9 is 10, right? 0 carry 1. 6 plus 3 is 9 plus 1 is 10, right? 0 carry 1 again. So, you can see. Now, it is actually easy. Once you are able to establish these two tables, okay? You will be, it will be very easy for you to now solve whatever I'm going to put out here. All right, now let's start. The first one we need to do is we need to get square root of 7 to 9. What you need to note is what ends with 9 here. What number when squared will give you 9? A number that ends with 9. Now, there are two numbers that when you square them, you are going to get a number that ends with 9. The first is what? Um, 7. Another one is 3. Now look at it. 3 squared is 9. Ends with 9. 7 squared is 49. Ends with 9 as well. That means that the answer we are going to get is going to end with either 7 or 3. But that should not bother you at all. Okay? Because we are going to clarify that later. I will repeat. First thing is, you look at this 9. What number squared will give you a number that ends with 9? The answer is 7 or 3. Now, once you get the first one, add something to 8 to get 10. Notice that 7 plus 3 is 10. Yes. So, that is how to know the next number. So, immediately, I, re I remember that 7 squared will give me a number that ends with 9. I know that 3 will definitely give me a number that ends with 9 as well. Excuse me. Okay, I had to check to ensure that my camera is still on. Sometimes uh, while I'm talking, it trips off. So let's continue. It's still on. Now you're going to cancel the last two digits. After getting the number that ends with 9, you cancel the last two digits. This is square root. Now, I've posted how to find the cube root of any number. As long as that number is a perfect cube, okay? I will attach the card here if i don't attach it here please go ahead and check it under the playlist of maastricht i have a playlist for maastricht on this channel just go there you are going to see so many maastrichts including how to find the cube root of any number once that number is a perfect cube so we are going to cancel two because this is what two square root now we have seven what number squared we give us a number that is close to seven but not more than seven the answer is 2, because 2 squared will give us 4, but 3 squared will give us 9, and 9 is already more than 7. So the answer is 2. So it means our answer is either 27 or 23. Now, how do we know the one that is the answer? After 2, you count 3, right? So 2 times 3 is equal to 6. You are going to compare 7 and 6. You can see that 7 is greater than 6. Because what we have here is greater, our answer is going to be the greater number. So it means that square root of 729 is 27. Don't worry, we are going to solve other examples and you are going to understand this better. 
So you can press your calculator. Square root of 729 is 27. Now let's quickly do the second. Okay, the second will not be fast because it's still the second so that you understand very well. So we look for numbers that when we spread them, we get a number that ends with 1. The answer is 1. And like I told you, to get the next number, 1 plus 9 is 10. So the next number should be 9. And if you check, 1 squared is 1, ends with 1. 9 squared is 81, ends with 1 as well. So having established this, you cancel the last two digits. Now we need a number that when we square it, we get a number close to this or equal to this, but no more than this. And this time, 3 squared is 9. Okay? So it means our answer is either 31 or 39. Now let's know the one that will go. Okay? So after 3, we have 4. 3 times 4 is 12. So we compare 9 and 12. And you can see that 9 is less than 12. So we are going to get a lesser number this time. So it means that the lesser number, which is 31, is the square root of 961. You can press your calculator. Okay, the next one, I'm going to be faster. I'm going to be faster now. So let's check 15129. Okay, 15129. Okay, let's do this. This is for a reason. Square root of 4225. It is only when your number ends with 5 that only 5 comes in. Yes, because why? It's only 5 that when you square it, your, your, the last number is 5. You can check. That is it. It's only 5. So this time around, we have only 5. Okay? So if we cancel the last two digits, we need a number that when we square, we are going to get a number close to 42, but no more than 42. And that should be 6 because 6 squared is 36. But 7 squared is 49. So 7 cannot work here. So it's 6. So it means our answer is 65. You can see that this one is easier because you have only one number which ends with 5 when you square it and that is 25. So that is why I picked this. Now, let's go for something higher. You are going to do this one for me. Now, let's go for this. We need a number that... Okay, square root of 15129. So which number, when you square them, you get 9 as the end, okay? The end digit or the end digit that ends it. Just try, try to understand what I'm trying to say. I'm, I'm already exhausted. I'm tired. So let's continue. Now, this is 7. 7 squared is 49. So after 7, 7 plus 3 will give me 10. So definitely the next number should be 3. So 7 squared is 49, 3 squared is 9, both of them end with 9. So we cancel the last two digits. We need the number when you square it, you get a number close to 151, but not more than 151. And that number is what? If you go through this, you can see that it's 12. Because 12 squared is 144, but 13 squared is already 169, which is greater than 151. So it's going to be 12. So it means the answer is 12, 127, or 123. Now, as usual, we need to check. So after 12, you have 13, right? So we have 12 times 13. 3 times 2, 6. 3 times 1, 3. 1 times 2, 2. 1 times 1, 1. 6, 5, 1. So we have 1, 5, 6. So we compare. You can see that 151 is less than 156. So we're going to take the lesser number. So it means that the square root of 15129 is 1, 2, 3. So I'm going to leave this last one for you to solve. So let me give space. The last one says you should find the square root of 14161. Hit the subscription button and turn on the notification bell if this is the first time you have seen us. Give us a thumbs up if you love what we are doing. Like, comment, and share. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you very much. I'm saying this because I don't know. I can't remember if I've said it already in the video. So if I've done that, this will be a reminder for you. All right. Take care and see you in my next video. Bye.